What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you some of the improvements I made to my Jason Part 7 costume that I made over three years ago. Now to be fair, I was actually extremely proud of what I was actually able to accomplish for just spending around $25. And even looking back on this costume, I think I did a pretty good job. But there's always room for improvement. So I decided to spend a few extra dollars just to see how good I can actually make it, but still be in budget friendly. So I started off with the mask and hood. Now the original mask was just a cheap Chinese knockoff. Now being as I was on a budget, the mask was a perfect fit, but I decided to upgrade. So I went on to Etsy and I spent about $30 for a much better, higher quality Part 7 mask. And I couldn't have been more happier with the actual product. And I was extremely pleased on the way that it actually turned out once I was done with the painting. As far as the strap, I decided just to use the old strap from the old mask because I really didn't see anything wrong with it. And being as we are still trying to be budget friendly, I didn't see the point of actually spending any more money when this one will work just fine. Now moving on to the hood. The original hood that I actually made still looks pretty good to this day, but I just wanted to do an upgrade and just make a better quality one. And I'm extremely pleased on how this one actually turned out. There's a lot more detail. It looks a lot more realistic to the one in the movie and it's extremely comfortable to wear. Hands down, I do feel that it's a major improvement over the original. All right, now moving on to Jason's Rotted Flesh and Exposed Skeleton. Now being as I was inspired by my Part 8 costume where I was using a morph suit underneath Jason's regular clothes, I wanted to do the same thing for the Part 7 costume. So I went to Amazon, I bought a dark brown morph suit. So this is gonna be the base of my Rotted Flesh. Being as the color is very similar, I knew I didn't have to use very much silicone. So using the same method as I made the hood, I mixed some 100% silicone with some dark brown acrylic paint. I went ahead and mixed it up and then I just applied it all over the morph suit, mainly around the entire torso. I applied a bit to the back and also the arms and the legs. Now as far as Jason's exposed skeleton, mainly on the upper half of his body, I really actually liked what I had done on the previous costume. It looked really good, it functioned quite well, and I really didn't see a point of trying to recreate something else. So I just stuck with what I already had. I removed it from the old garment and then just attached it the exact same way as I did previously using a little bit of silicone along with the fasteners to ensure that it was secure to the morph suit. As far as the back was concerned, there was a zipper that ran down the center, so I knew I couldn't just attach it because I had to take the morph suit on and off. So I wouldn't have just attached some Velcro. Now this Velcro I just picked up at the dollar store, but it wasn't really sticking quite well to the silicone. So again, I just used the fasteners and fastened the Velcro to the actual morph suit, and that solved my problem. Now I can attach the back rib cage and shoulder blades with extreme ease. Now attaching the shoulder blades and ribcage to the back did require a second person when I was putting the costume on. So if you guys can come up with a different method on how to attach this and still have the morph suit be able to zip up and down, let me know. But overall, it still actually looked pretty good and it actually held on extremely well. Now as far as the lower arms and hands, this was actually just a bunch of painted silicone that I made up. And then I actually took some strips of an old t-shirt that I had and just squished it in there. And I did the same thing for the actual legs. Any part of the costume where the bone was exposed on the arms and the legs is literally just some old t-shirt, silicone, and acrylic paint. And I think it actually turned out pretty good. But you guys be sure to let me know what you think. Should I have kept it the original way? Or do the improvements actually make the costume look a whole lot better? And if you want to see how I made this costume originally, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can go check that out so you have a true impression of the before and the after. So overall, I really didn't spend that much money making all of the improvements. With the initial cost of the original costume and the cost of the improvements that I actually did, the grand total was just under $80. And I'm actually okay with that. The morph suit was way more comfortable than the previous garments and I was actually able to wear this costume for well over three hours and it still felt good to wear. All right, if there's any other costumes that I've already made that you would like me to make improvements on, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, everybody, until next time, this is CS5 signing out, and I hope to see you in the next video.